hello friends welcome to my channel today in this video we are going to make a bumblebee with flower i am going to use yarn of four colors and few beads for this project apart from all these things we need needle and thread scissors and i am going to use a hook of 2.5 mm so we are going to begin with flower so we have to begin with yarn of color A and the slip knot, chain 1, 2, 3. We have to go back to the first chain, insert the hook in, yarn over, pull through both the loops as a slip stitch. Chain 1. This is the turning chain, we are not going to count this chain. Single crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Join these stitches into the single crochet that we did earlier with slip stitch Chain 1 This is the turning chain, we are not going to count this chain On the top of the first stitch, single crochet 1, single crochet 2 On the top of the next stitch, single crochet 1 Into the same stitch, single crochet 2 so we have to do two single crochet on the top of each stitch across the round follow the same pattern and complete the round we will meet again when this round would be complete when the round is complete we have to join the stitches into this chain that we did earlier with slip stitch now on the top of the four stitch single crochet one into the same stitch single crochet two on the top of the next stitch single crochet one on the top of the next stitch single crochet one into the same stitch single crochet two on the top of the next stitch single crochet one follow the same pattern and complete the round we will meet again when this round would be completed when the round is complete we join the stitches on the top of the four stitch with slip stitch now we have to cut the yarn from here because this circle for the flower is complete, we have to make one more circle following the same pattern for the back part of this flower. So, complete doing one more circle and we will meet again when these two circles would be completed. When these two circles are complete, this is the front part and this is the back part. We are going to begin petals for the flower. So, we have to begin with yarn of color b and with slip knot now we have to do chain three one two three we have to go back to the first chain insert the hook in yarn over pull through both the loops chain one we are not going to count this chain insert the hook into the ring pull through single crochet one two 3, 4, 5, 6, we have to insert the hook into the chain that we did earlier and we have to join the round with slip stitch, chain 1, this is a turning chain, we are not going to count this chain, on the top of the 4 stitch, single crochet 1, into the same stitch single crochet 2 on the top of the next stitch single crochet 1 into the same stitch single crochet 2 so we have to do single crochet 1 so we have to do two single crochet on the top of each stitch across the round when the round is complete we join the stitches on the top of the four stitch with slip stitch chain 1 this is a turning chain we are not going to count this chain on the top of the first stitch single crochet one single crochet one on the top of the next stitch so we have to do single crochet on the top of each stitch across the round follow the same pattern and complete this round and three more rounds and we will meet again when these four rounds would be completed when these rounds are complete we are going to decrease these stitches so chain one on the top of the next stitch single crochet one pull through both the loops on the top of the next stitch single crochet one 
on the top of the next stitch single crochet one do not close the stitch on the top of the next stitch single crochet one pull through all the three loops on the top of the next stitch single crochet one on the top of the next stitch single crochet one do not close the stitch on the top of the next stitch pull through pull through all the three on the top of the next stitch single crochet one on the top of the next stitch single crochet one do not close the stitch on the top of the next stitch single crochet one pull through all the loops on the top of the next stitch single crochet one now join these stitches on the top of the next stitch with slip stitch now this petal is complete we have to do five more petals following the same pattern so complete five more petals and we will meet again when these petals would be completed when all these petals are complete we have to stitch them like this and we already have stitched five petals we are going to stitch this last petal on the circle that we did earlier so stitch them tightly on the top of the circle in this way now we have to sew this circle here so complete sewing this and we will meet again when this flower would be completed when this flower is complete we are going to add bead on the top of the circle so we have to take the help of needle and thread and we have to sew all these beads on the top of the circle of the flower so complete doing this and we will meet again when these beads would be added to the top of the flower when this flower is complete we have to keep it aside now we are going to begin the pattern for B so we are going to begin with slip knot chain 1 2 3 now we have to go back to the fourth chain insert the hook in yarn over pull through both the loops as a slip stitch chain 1 we are not going to count this chain single crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have to join these stitches into the chain that we did earlier with slip stitch chain 1 now on the top of the first stitch single crochet 1 into the same stitch single crochet 2 on the top of the next stitch single crochet 1 into the same stitch single crochet 2 so we have to do two single crochet on the top of each stitch across the round follow the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when the round is complete we join the stitches on the top of the four stitch with slip stitch chain one we are not going to count this chain on the top of the four stitch single crochet one into the same stitch single crochet two on the top of the next stitch single crochet one on the top of the next stitch single crochet one into the same stitch single crochet two on the top of the next stitch single crochet one follow the same pattern and complete the round we will meet again when this round would be completed when the round is complete we join the stitches on the top of the four stitch with slip stitch chain one we are not going to count this chain now on the top of each stitch we have to do single crochet one single crochet one 
on the top of the next stitch single crochet one on the top of the next stitch so complete this round and five more rounds following the same pattern and we will meet again when these six rounds would be completed when these rounds are complete we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to continue with yarn of next color so pull through tightly now we are going to add yarn of next color so we have to begin with slip knot now we have to join the yarn on the top of four stitch with slip stitch chain one we are not going to count this chain now on the top of the next stitch single crochet bond single crochet bond on the top of the next stitch so complete this round and one more round by doing one double crochet on the top of each stitch and we will meet again when these two rounds would be completed when these two rounds with black color were completed we did two rounds with yellow color by doing one double crochet on the top of each stitch across the round now we are going to decrease the stitches so we added yarn of color black insert the hook on the top of the next stitch pull through do not close the stitch on the top of the next stitch pull through all the loops on the top of the next stitch single crochet one now on the top of the next stitch insert the hook and pull through do not close the stitch on the top of the next stitch insert the hook and pull through pull through all the loops this way we are going to decrease these stitches to close this pattern on the top of the next stitch single crochet one on the top of the next stitch single crochet one do not close the stitch pull through all the loops on the top of the next stitch single crochet one on the top of the next stitch single crochet one do not close the stitch on the top of the next stitch single crochet one pull through all the loops on the top of the next stitch single crochet one on the top of the next stitch single crochet one on the top of the next stitch pull through all the three on the top of the next stitch single crochet one now join these stitches on the top of first stitch with slip stitch now we are going to stuff this b when we completed stuffing this b we are going to close this pattern so insert the hook on the top of the next stitch pull through on the top of the next stitch pull through pull through all the loops on the top of the next stitch pull through on the top of the next stitch pull through pull through all the three on the top of the next stitch pull through on the top of the next stitch pull through pull through all the three on the top of the next stitch pull through on the top of the next stitch pull through pull through all the three on the top of the next stitch pull through on the top of the next stitch pull through pull through all the three in this way this pattern is now closed now we are going to make wings for this B so for wings we have to begin with yarn of white color and with slip knot now we have to do chain 3 1 2 and 3 now we have to go back to the first chain insert the hook in pull through pull through both the loops chain 1 we are not going to count this chain now insert the hook into the ring pull through single crochet one single crochet two three 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स वी हैव टू जॉइन दी स्टिचेज ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द फोर स्टिच विथ स्लिप स्टिच ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द फोर स्टिच चेन वन वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू काउंट दिस चेन सिंगल क्रॉशे वन इन टू द सेम स्टिच सिंगल क्रॉशे टू ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द नेक्स्ट स्टिच सिंगल क्रॉशे वन इन टू द सेम स्टिच सिंगल क्रॉशे टू फॉलो द सेम पैटर्न एंड कम्प्लीट द राउंड वी विल मीट अगैन वेन दिस राउंड एंड वन मोर राउंड फॉलोइंग द सेम पैटर्न वुड बी कम्प्लीटेड वेन दीज टू विंग्स व कम्प्लीट वी सो दैम अप ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द बी एंड वी एड टू आईज एंड मेड अ नाइस स्माइल ऑन द फेस ऑफ दिस बी नाउ दिस बी इज कम्प्लीट वी आर गोइंग टू मेक हैंगिंग फॉर दिस पैटर्न सो वी हैव टू जॉइन द यान ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द पिटल विथ स्लिप स्टिच चेन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड थर्टीन नाउ वी हैव टू गो बैक टू द टेंथ चेन इन सो द हुक इन पुल थ्रू पुल थ्रू टू चेन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन नाउ वी हैव टू जॉइन this b to this pattern so insert the hook pull through pull through two now we have to cut the yarn from here because this pattern is now complete this pattern is going to look like this when it will be completed you can use this pattern as a card decor as a hanging for your bags or for the key chains as well thank you so much